Welcome to the global defense battle. The Sukhoi Su-57, known by NATO as the Felon, is a Russian stealth fighter developed by Sukhoi, part of the United Aircraft Corporation. It first flew in January 2010 and entered service in December 2020. Designed to replace older MiG-29 and Su-27 models, the Su-57 serves multiple roles, including air combat and ground attacks. Its development aimed to create a modern, cost-effective fighter with advanced features like stealth and high agility. On the other hand, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is an American stealth fighter developed by Lockheed Martin. It first flew in December 2006 and entered service in July 2015. The F-35 was designed to replace older aircraft like the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-A-18 Hornet. It serves multiple roles, including air combat and ground attacks. The development aimed to create a versatile, stealthy fighter with advanced electronics and the ability to operate from various platforms. Comparing the Su-57 and F-35 is important because both are advanced stealth fighters from different countries. They represent the latest in military aviation technology and show different design approaches and strategies. Studying them helps us understand how each country addresses modern air combat challenges and the unique features they prioritize in their aircraft. So let's start. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the Sukhoi Su-57 features a sleek design with a blended wing body configuration, enhancing its aerodynamic efficiency. Its trapezoidal wings and all-moving horizontal tailplanes contribute to high maneuverability. The aircraft measures approximately 20.1 meters in length, has a wingspan of 14.1 meters, and stands about 4.6 meters tall. Its empty weight is around 18,500 kilograms, with a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 35,000 kilograms. The Su-57's twin-engine setup and thrust-vectoring nozzles provide exceptional agility, allowing it to perform advanced aerial maneuvers. In contrast, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II employs a more compact design with a focus on stealth. It features a clipped delta wing and a single vertical stabilizer, which help reduce its radar cross-section. The F-35 measures about 15.7 meters in length, has a wingspan of 10.7 meters, and a height of approximately 4.4 meters. Its empty weight is around 13,300 kilograms, with a maximum takeoff weight of about 31,800 kilograms. The aircraft's single-engine design contributes to its streamlined profile, optimizing it for multi-role missions. Regarding engine and power, the Sukhoi Su-57 is powered by two Saturn AL41F1 afterburning turbofan engines. Each engine produces a dry thrust of 88.3 kN and 142.2 kN with afterburner, reaching up to 147.1 kN in emergency power. This twin-engine setup allows the Su-57 to achieve a top speed of Mach 2 at high altitude and maintain a supercruise speed of Mach 1.3 without afterburner. The aircraft's range is about 3,500 km on internal fuel, extendable with external drop tanks. The Su-57 has a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 1.02, contributing to its agility and performance. Its rate of climb is estimated at 300 meters per second, enabling rapid ascents during combat operations. In contrast, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is equipped with a single Pratt & Whitney F-135 afterburning turbofan engine. This engine delivers a dry thrust of approximately 125 kN and 191 kN with afterburner. The F-35's top speed is Mach 1.6, and it can sustain a speed of Mach 1.2 for a 150-mile dash using afterburner. The aircraft's range exceeds 1,200 nautical miles on internal fuel. The F-35A variant has a thrust-to-weight ratio of about 0.87 with full fuel, which increases to 1.07 when carrying 50% fuel. Specific data on the F-35's rate of climb is not publicly available, but its design emphasizes a balance between speed, agility, and stealth capabilities. Talking about weapons and payload capacity, the Sukhoi Su-57 is equipped with two main internal weapon bays, each approximately 4.4 meters long and 0.9 meters wide, and two side bays near the wing roots. It has a maximum payload capacity of about 7,500 kilograms. The aircraft features six internal hardpoints and six external hardpoints, allowing for a variety of weapon configurations. For air-to-air -air combat, the Su-57 can carry up to four beyond-visual-range missiles, such as the R-77M, in its main bays, and two short-range missiles, like the R-74M-2, in the side bays. In air-to-ground roles, it can deploy precision-guided bombs like the KAB-250 or KAB-500, as well as missiles such as the KH-38M and KH-35U. 
While the Su-57 is primarily designed for conventional warfare, it is capable of carrying nuclear weapons, which enhances its strategic versatility. On the other hand, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II features two internal weapons bays, each with two stations. The outboard stations can accommodate ordnance up to 2,500 pounds, while the inboard stations are designed for air-to-air -air missiles. The F-35A variant has a maximum internal payload capacity of approximately 8,160 kilograms. For air-to-air -air missions, it can carry missiles such as the AIM-120 AMROM internally and the AIM-9X Sidewinder on external wingtip pylons. In air-to-ground operations, the F-35 can deploy a range of munitions, including the Joint Direct Attack Munition, Paveway Series Bombs, and the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile. Notably, as of October 2023, the F-35A has been certified to carry the B-61-12 thermonuclear gravity bomb, officially making it a dual-capable aircraft. Regarding cockpit design, the Su-57's cockpit is designed with a focus on providing the pilot with comprehensive situational awareness and control. It features a wide-angle head-up display that projects critical flight information directly in the pilot's line of sight, reducing the need to look down during high-intensity maneuvers. The cockpit is equipped with large multifunctional displays that consolidate data from various sensors, allowing for efficient monitoring and management of the aircraft systems. The avionics suite includes an advanced radar system and electronic warfare capabilities, enabling the pilot to detect and counter threats effectively. The design emphasizes manual control and pilot input, providing a balance between automated systems and human oversight. On the other hand, the F-35's cockpit is designed to maximize pilot efficiency through advanced automation and integration. It features a large touchscreen display that consolidates flight, sensor, and weapons data into a single interface, reducing the pilot's workload. A notable feature is the helmet-mounted display system, which projects all essential flight information onto the pilot's visor, allowing for a heads-up, eyes-out approach. This system provides a 360-degree view of the battle space, enabling the pilot to see through the aircraft using distributed aperture system sensors. The avionics are highly integrated, with sensor fusion technology that automatically combines data from various sources to present a coherent picture, enhancing situational awareness and decision-making. Regarding electronics warfare system and radars, the Su-57 is equipped with the L-402 Himalayas Electronic Countermeasure System, designed to detect, jam, and deceive enemy radar and communication systems. This system enhances the aircraft's survivability by reducing the likelihood of detection and targeting by adversary sensors. Additionally, the Su-57's avionics suite includes advanced sensor fusion capabilities, integrating data from various onboard sensors to provide comprehensive situational awareness. In contrast, the F-35 boasts a sophisticated EW suite that includes the ANAS-Q239 system, which offers advanced radar warning, targeting support, and self-protection capabilities. This system enables the F-35 to actively jam enemy radars and disrupt communications, thereby degrading the adversary's ability to coordinate and respond effectively. The F-35's EW capabilities are further enhanced by its sensor fusion technology, which amalgamates data from multiple sensors to present pilots with a unified and coherent operational picture. Regarding radars, the Su-57 employs the N-036 Belka radar system, which comprises multiple X-band active electronically scanned array radars positioned in the aircraft's nose and wings. This multi-radar configuration provides the Su-57 with a wide field of view and the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously. Additionally, the integration of L-band radars in the wing leading edges enhances the aircraft's capability to detect stealth targets, as L-band frequencies are more effective in identifying low-observable aircraft. The F-35 is equipped with the ANAPG-81AESA radar, renowned for its high-resolution mapping, long-range detection, and trackwall scan capabilities. This radar system allows the F-35 to engage air and ground targets effectively while maintaining situational awareness of the broader battle space. The AN-APG-81's advanced electronic scanning enables rapid beam steering, facilitating quick target acquisition and tracking. Overall, both the Su-57 and F-35 are equipped with state-of-the-art electronic warfare and radar systems that reflect their distinct design philosophies. The Su-57 emphasizes a multi-spectral approach to detection and countermeasures, while the F-35 focuses on integration and advanced electronic capabilities to achieve battlefield superiority. Regarding cost, the Sukhoi Su-57's development cost is not officially disclosed, but it is believed to be significantly lower than its Western counterparts due to Russia's focus on cost-effective production methods. Each Su-57 is estimated to cost between $35 million and $50 million per unit, 
depending on its configuration and upgrades. This relatively lower cost is attributed to Russia's use of existing manufacturing infrastructure and less stringent stealth specifications compared to the F-35. The Su-57's operational costs are expected to be in line with its predecessor, the Su-27 flanker, making it manageable for the Russian Air Force. However, its long-term maintenance and potential upgrades remain factors that could drive up its life cycle expenses. On the other hand, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II has had one of the most expensive development programs in aviation history, with the total cost for research and production exceeding $400 billion. Its unit price varies by variant. The F-35A costs around $82.5 million, the F-35B approximately $109 million, and the F-35C about $102.1 million. The program's high costs are driven by the aircraft's cutting-edge stealth design, advanced sensor fusion, and the need to produce multiple variants for different branches of the U.S. military and its allies. In summary, the Sukhoi Su-57 and Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II represent two distinct approaches to modern air combat, reflecting the design philosophies of their respective nations. The Su-57 focuses on agility, high-speed maneuverability, and a balanced combination of stealth and firepower, making it suitable for Russia's defense strategy. In contrast, the F-35 excels in stealth, sensor integration, and advanced electronic warfare, enabling it to perform a variety of multi-role missions globally. While the Su-57 remains in limited production with growing export potential, the F-35 dominates the global market with widespread deployment across Allied forces. Both aircraft showcase the evolving landscape of fifth-generation fighters designed to meet the challenges of future combat scenarios. Which aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.